the family of a teenage girl who sent photos of herself to a classmate. She attends Knoxville High School and now her family is filing a lawsuit against Marion County attorney. The girl sent two photos via Snapchat, one with hair covering her breasts and boy shorts, the other with a sports bra and boy shorts to a classmate. Casey Pearson, the superintendent of Knoxville Community School District, told us there were no printing of photos. Two teachers overheard some classmates talking about the photos, did not happen on school grounds, and they turned it over to police. Then Marion County Attorney Ed Bull declared her photos as sexual exploitation and suggested an alternative to prosecution. They Bob Rigg with the Drake Legal Clinic explains. So I think what the prosecutor is doing here is sending out a blanket um, proposal to all the affected kids saying, I don't want to prosecute any of you. Uh, and if you go through this diversion program, I won't prosecute you. If the parents agree the diversion program would ask her to admit she's wrong, listen to how she could have potentially registered as a sex offender, and turn over her cell phone and laptop. The parents didn't agree and filed a lawsuit. So what has probably happened here is they're saying, well, there's nothing pending yet, so we're going to try to get in in that window to say there's an important federal right at stake. The lawsuit states this diversion program was in violation of her First Amendment right, and the pictures are not illegal under Iowa's crime code. Now the question is, does the federal court really want to intercede in this, or will the federal court abstain or step away from it saying, no, this is a state court issue and we're going to let it be resolved on the state court issues. Which would put the case back in the hands of the prosecutor. Reyes Pickner, KCCI 8 News, Iowa's news leader.